Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you about tongue twisters or how to tie your tongue in knots. First of all, what is a tongue twister? Okay, it's a phrase that is designed to be difficult to pronounce properly. Mm. It can be used as a type of spoken or sometimes sung word game. They use alliteration. That means repeating the same sounds quickly in words or groups of words which are said close together and rhyme, which is like a kind of poem. But why should you go to the trouble of learning tongue twisters? Why bother? Well, they are a way to have fun with English. They can improve your speaking, your articulation, or which is the way words are pronounced. They have even been recommended for curing hiccups and for curing lisps you know, lifts and other speech defects. So they could be quite useful. What else? Even native English speakers can find them difficult. However, they are a fun way to practice your pronunciation. What should you do? Practice saying tongue twisters out loud. You don't read them in your head. And instead of concentrating on the speed, try saying them slowly and correctly. You can build up your speed gradually after that. What is the origin of tongue twisters? Where do they come from? Well, no one really knows for sure. They've been around for centuries. But one of the earliest to appear in print was this one in 1813. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Okay, you can say it like this. When you get very good at it, after a lot of practice, you might be able to do it like this. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Well, there you go. Now, let's learn some tongue twisters. First of all, start simple. Don't try and be too clever. Here's a very little simple basic one practicing the sound of the k sound. Cute, cuddly kittens. Cute, cuddly kittens. Cute, cuddly kittens. Try practicing that slowly, then a little faster. Another easy one to help you to say the fl sound. Fl, 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 fl sound. Flies fly. But a fly flies. Flies fly, but a fly flies. Try that slowly. Flies fly, but a fly flies. Flies fly, but a fly flies. Here's one that dates all the way back to 1850. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So, if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. Now, you can play that part of this talk back and try and say the words with me. When you get better and better, you may be able to say them more quickly like this. She sells seashells by the seashore. 
The seashells she sells are seashells, I'm sure. So if she sells seashells by the seashore, then I'm sure she sells seashore shells. You might even be able to go faster. But I won't because I might turn my tongue into knots and then I wouldn't be able to do the rest of this video. Well, one good thing about tongue twisters is that they can help you practice sounds that you might have difficulty saying. So here's one you could try. This is quite difficult, but if you have trouble with the s and f sounds, you can practice this one. Theophilus thistle, the thistle sifter, sifted a sieve of unsifted thistles. If Theophilus thistle, the thistle sifter, sifted a sieve of unsifted thistles, where is the sieve of unsifted thistles Theophilus thistle, the thistle sifter, sifted? Now, I'm going to try that faster. Let's see if you can do it this fast one day. Theophilus thistle, the thistle sifter, sifted a sieve of unsifted thistles. If Theophilus thistle, the thistle sifter, sifted a sieve of unsifted thistles, where is the sieve of unsifted thistles Theophilus thistle, the thistle sifter, sifted? Okay, wow, I didn't make any mistakes. That's quite a tricky one. If you get that as smoothly as I just said it, you're pretty good. Now, some tongue twisters to help you practice the ul sound. Ul. Now, a lot of people, particularly Chinese people, have trouble with the ul sound. Try this little one. The little lambs licking lollipops went leaping and laughing into the lava. Now, when you do the ul sound, you put your tongue at the top of your mouth, right behind your teeth. And then when you go l, l, l to the next sound, you drop your tongue and make the sound, such as in l, little l, lambs, l, lollipops, and so on. All right. So take that one slowly, try and practice that all sound. And when you get good enough, you might be able to say it like this. The little lambs licking lollipops went leaping and laughing into the lava. Here's another one to practice the all sounds. Lila Ledbetter lugged a lot of little lemons. I'll say it slower. Lila Ledbetter lugged a lot of little lemons. Try it this way. Lila Ledbetter lugged a lot of little lemons. And another one to practice that tricky ool sound. Little ladies licked Lily's lentil soup. Well, let's try it slower. Little ladies licked Lily's lentil soup. Little ladies licked Lily's lentil soup. Little ladies licked Lily's lentil soup. Now, the w and v sounds. The w, 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 and the v sound. The v sound. <clears throat> A lot of people have trouble with these sounds too. This rhyme on this page just uses the w sound. W. You put your mouth in a circle and you just make the a sound w, 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 and then you open your mouth a little if two witches watched two watches which which would watch which watch oh that's a tricky one we have two different spellings for which in there the witch that rides the broomstick in all the stories, and the witch, which means which one? Okay. If two witches watched two watches, which witch would watch which watch? 
you might be able to get that faster sometime. Like, if two witches watched two watches, which witch would watch which watch? Here's one that has a little mixture of the w sounds and the v sound. Wilma virtually wishes every weekend for very wild weather. OK, let's try that a little slower. Wilma virtually wishes every weekend for very wild weather. She's a strange girl, Wilma, isn't she? Liking wild weather. Well, let's try it again. Wilma virtually wishes every weekend for very wild weather. Now, when you're saying the V sound, you put your teeth, top teeth, over your bottom lip and you make a sound. V. And then when you say the next letter, which is usually the vowel sound, like in very, you open your mouth and take your, tongue, your teeth back from your lip. V. Ve, ve, very, very wild weather. Wilma virtually wishes every weekend for very wild weather. Wilma virtually wishes every weekend for very wild weather. Now, here's one of my favourite rhymes. This goes back, I remember learning this one when I was just in high school. Um, and it has a little play on words. Two different kinds of weather. Weather meaning like if, and the weather meaning whether it's raining or sunny, that kind of weather. So you can try this one to see if you get tricked or not. Whether the weather be fine, or whether the weather be not. Whether the weather be cold, or whether the weather be hot. We'll weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. Okay, that's a little bit of a tricky one, a little bit of a funny one. Uh, weather the weather means put up with the weather. We won't complain if the weather is fine or if it's cold or wet. So uh, you can try it this, at this speed. Whether the weather be fine or whether the weather be not. Whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be hot. We'll weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. And just to give me a chance to show off a little bit, here's how fast you can go one day. Whether the weather be fine or whether the weather be not. Whether the weather be cold or whether the weather be not. We'll weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. Oh, I made a little mistake there. I said not instead of hot. It's tricky, isn't it? You can try this at slow speed and gradually get a little bit faster. And one day you might be able to say it as fast as I did. Now, here's a famous tongue twister from a stage musical that was first performed in 1903. I wonder how you'd go with this one. A woodchuck is that little animal you see in the picture. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck? Now, chuck means to throw. Chuck, you throw. OK. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would, as much as he could. And chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Let's try it fast. You might be able to get it like this one day. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck he would as much as he could, and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. OK, I could say it faster, but I'll leave it at that speed. If you get it as smoothly and as quickly as that, you are doing really well. Congratulations. Now, there's our thinker a very famous uh, sculpture by the sculptor Rodin, 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 I don't know how it's pronounced, R-O-D-I-N. All right. 
Well, he didn't make up this little rhyme, but I'll read it to you. I thought a thought, but the thought which I thought wasn't the thought I thought. If the thought which I thought was the thought I thought, I wouldn't have thought so much. I wonder if that thinker thinks like this. I thought a thought, but the thought which I thought wasn't the thought I thought. If the thought which I thought was the thought I thought, I wouldn't have thought so much. One day you might get it this fast. I thought a thought, but the thought which I thought wasn't the thought I thought. If the thought which I thought was the thought I thought, I wouldn't have thought so much. OK, um, try and practice that one and you can show off to your friends. Now, here's another favourite one. This is a very popular, very common little rhyme. And it's again a play on words using the word flea and fly. Flea can mean the insect that gets on a dog and makes a dog get very itchy and scratch himself. Uh, but flea can also mean to run away from danger. Then we have a fly. Well, a fly is an insect, as you know, but you can fly as well in a plane. Birds fly. A flu. A flu is like a chimney, like the one in the picture. And so here we have a flea and a fly, and they're caught in a flu, in a chimney. They don't know what to do. Let's hear how they escape. A flea and a fly in a flu were caught. So what could they do? Said the fly, let us flee. Let us fly, said the flea. So they flew through a floor in the flu. A floor is like a, a crack, some uh, construction problem with that flu. It's got a hole in it, a crack in it, and they find it and they get out of that chimney. So here's how you can say that when you get used to saying the words a little better. A flea and a fly in a flu were caught, so what could they do? Said the fly, let us flee. Let us fly, said the flea. So they flew through a floor in the flu. This is a good rhyme for you to practice your f sounds, the sound you make with the letter F. F doesn't say f, it just says f, and you put the other letters after that. Flee, fly, flu. Okay? Let's try that one again a little faster. A flea and a fly in a flu were caught, so what could they do? Said the fly, let us flee, let us fly, said the flea, so they flew through a floor in the flu. Now, here's the story of a lovely lady by the name of Betty Botter. Betty Botter likes to cook. In fact, she wanted to make some batter. Maybe she was going to make some pancakes or a cake or maybe she was going to fry some fish. But she had a problem. She liked to put butter in her batter. Maybe it gave it a better flavour. But the butter she had was bitter. It didn't taste good. So she knew if she put that in her batter, it would spoil the taste of the batter. So she needed to buy some better butter to put in her batter. So here's the rhyme. Betty Botter bought some butter, but she said, this butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bit of better butter, that would make my batter better. So she bought a bit of butter, better than her bitter butter, and she put it in her batter. And the batter was not bitter. So twas better Betty Botter bought a bit of better butter. So she made the right choice, didn't she? Now, when you get used to practicing saying this one, which has lots of b and t sounds in it, 
um, you will be a real expert at doing tongue twisters. So you can read this one through and say it like this. Betty Botter bought some butter, but she said this butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bit of better butter, that would make my batter better. So she bought a bit of butter, better than her bitter butter, and she put it in her batter, and the batter was not bitter. So twas better Betty Botter bought a bit of better butter. Now, I'll show off a little bit. I'll read this a little faster, a lot faster. Maybe one day when you're an expert and you've practiced all the tongue twisters in this video and you can say them all really fluently, you can say this one as well. Betty Botter bought some butter, but she said this butter's bitter. If I put it in my batter, it will make my batter bitter. But a bit of better butter, that would make my batter better. So she bought a bit of butter better than her bitter butter, and she put it in her batter, and the batter was not bitter. So it was better Betty Botter bought a bit of better butter. Wow. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed the tongue twisters I've been able to show you. And um, well, here's a suggestion. Try writing your own tongue twister. Try writing your own tongue twister. You can think of a theme, get some words which um, start with the same letter, have some of the same sounds in them, put them together in a funny way and practice saying it. Um, then you can impress your friends. All right, have fun with tongue twisters, have fun with practicing speaking English. And I promise you, if you can get these tongue twisters right and you practice them enough, your speaking will improve as well. Good luck. Thank you for watching.